Someone is missing. Hikaru, Anish, and all the other GMs have arrived and are ready to crush their opponents. GM Vladislav Kovalev waits impatiently. His face looks disgusted. How could his rival Magnus Carlsen not yet be here? The games were supposed to start five minutes ago. Finally, the Arbiters declare they must start. Start me. Vladislav is currently rated 2623, an incredibly strong player. There's no chance the world champion can beat him in 30 seconds, is there? Kovalev wants to wait, but once again the Arbiter insists the clock must start. Frustrated Vladislav pushes his king's pawn forward to d4, hitting the clock to start Carlsen's time. Magnus only has three minutes, will he make it in time or lose points for this round? Ruining his chances of winning the tournament. The clock is now at 59 seconds and rapidly counting down to zero. Out of nowhere Magnus appears, how many seconds will he have left? He sprints to the board as it's on the other side from the entrance. Finally with 33 seconds on the clock, Magnus arrives. They firmly shake hands. Vladislav looks in disbelief. Carlson swiftly replies with e6. He must play at lightning speed to have any chance. After a few developing moves, the game turns into the French defense. Magnus castles his king to safety behind a layer of pawns. Vladislav goes into deep thought, his clock now only showing 1 minute 30 seconds. His time advantage is slowly fading away. Vladislav launches his army forward, both sides fighting for central control of the board. After all the peace trades, Magnus sends his queen to b6 offering a queen trade. His clock has 16 seconds left. He wants to simplify the position, making it easier to play with limited time. After trading knights and bishops, Vladislav makes the queen trade. His clock is now showing 12 seconds. The advantage is completely destroyed. The battle is about to get intense. Vladislav hesitantly moves his bishop to d3, his clock briefly hitting 3 seconds. Magnus replies with pawn to f6, removing the powerful knight from the center of the board. After a few quick piece shuffles, we are moving towards the end game. Carlsen is known for being an endgame god, will he win? Both players now have under 10 seconds on the clock. Magnus pushes his king forward to f7, readying it to fight. Pieces fly off the board, leaving a rook and bishop for Magnus, with a knight plus rook for Vladislav. Both players viciously throw their pawns forward hoping that one will make it across the board and be promoted to a queen. Which pawn will be victorious? In the time scramble the remaining bishop and knight are traded off. Each side now needs to capture the other side's pawns using their rooks. This is crucial as a passed pawn can be extremely dangerous. Once the smoke clears, Magnus has two black passed pawns with Vladislav only having one white pawn. Carlsen now has a winning position. Out of desperation, Vladislav shoots his white pawn hoping to promote. However, it is too late. Carlsen's connected past pawns are very strong. Kovalev resigns. They briskly shake hands. Before you can blink, Carlsen disappears through the entrance he sprinted through just minutes earlier. 